All right, so let's get into the actual topic that is how to create a blog for affiliate marketing. So I'd like to go ahead with a six step approach. Step one, I will go ahead and identify a product. The step two, identify your keyword. Step three, the actual blog topic. What is the heading for the blog? Go ahead and write a epic article which is our step four. Step five, we will go ahead and have these, this particular blog article posted on our website. And finally, our step six, which is to promote the article. So now the first step is basically go ahead and identify our product. Now, while this process of actually creating the blog can be used for any of your affiliate product, a majority of you have been mailing me with respect to the Amazon Associates program. Hence, this particular article of mine will be pertaining specifically to the Amazon Associates platform. So I will go ahead and identify my product on Amazon. Now, I hope you do remember that we did go into what is called the advertising fee schedule just to figure out the kind of commissions that we can actually get against the particular product that we are promoting. So while you are going to be putting in a lot of effort and hard work into actually creating your epic article, doing the research and then doing the promotion. It's always a good idea or a probably a good uh, feeling to actually get a higher commission and get higher payouts for the efforts that you're actually putting in. So you could select a particular product from, uh, uh, from one of the categories which is giving you a higher percentage. Let's say for example, the Kindle is giving you about 10%. Uh, gold and silver coins give you about 0.2%. So I'm guessing you'd probably not want to go ahead with that. But then again, it's a completely your choice. Uh, some of these mobile phones over here, you can see the new mobile phones at a fixed 1% advertising fee. Uh, your apparels at about 9% all the way up down to about 4% to 2.5% and a 2%. So for this, but at the end of the day, yes, the commission is definitely a factor which you would look into. But again, you will need to pick up a niche which you also have an interest in, whether you'd like to write an article on, on it or whether you're passionate about it. It's only then you'd be able to get that kind of flow in your article. Now, while I am not completely passionate about the, uh, the uh, electronics and the computer item, but nevertheless, I will go ahead and select my product among computers and that is basically my tablets. So I'll have an article written on tablets over here. So I'll go ahead onto Amazon and now you do notice the site strip which is actually mentioned over here before I get in directly over here I'll just show you how we can identify the product so once you're on Amazon like I said the first step is basically go ahead into the best sellers so click on best sellers and under best sellers I'm going to go into computers and accessories and again under computers and accessories I'm going ahead with tablets. So I know that this is the area which I'm going to be promoting. These are the products which I would like to have an article written on. Now, yes, Amazon says these are best sellers, but then how do we know that these are best sellers? Is there a market for this? So for which your next step or okay before we actually jump to the next step, the next thing what you have to do is go into what is called as Google trends now google trends gives you the top search queries and shows you whether there's a genuine interest for this particular item that you are actually promoting so it's always a good idea to first check whether there's a real market for this because you're going to be putting in a lot of effort writing an article does take at least a day or two and then you'll have to do a study for it you have to do a lot of research hence it's always a good idea to first check whether there is a market for this particular so let's go ahead and check if there's a market for tablet computers so i will go ahead and type tablet okay here it is tablet computers i'll go ahead and type tablet computers now this is the trend for united states as you can see there's a decent amount of requirement for this particular keyword that's the tablet computer there's a decent amount of traffic coming in for you can see about 51 now just to give you a fair indication i mean understanding of what exactly this is a value of 100 
is basically a peak popularity of that particular term. Whereas a value of 50 means there's a half decent popularity for that particular term. And a score of zero, well, you can see there's not enough data for the same. Let's check this as far as how is India is concerned. Now we'll type on India, select India. And you can see the trend is definitely on the rise. So it's coming up close to about a hundred. So that means there is definitely a market for this particular product. Let's say what, what if I just type out instead of tablet computer, let's say this tablets, we do mention the tablets as well. As you can see, the trend has been very even and has been picking up over the course of time. So now we know that yes, there is a market for this particular product and we can go ahead with this particular product. So now we have identified the product. The next step, what typically I would do is, all right, I know my product is the tablet. Now, what kind of keywords or what is the other search? I mean, what is the kind of traffic that is coming in for the monthly search traffic? For that, I would like, you would all know, I use a tool called SEM Rush, which is basically a paid tool, but nevertheless, a free tool which you can use is called Uber Suggest. So under Uber Suggest, go ahead and type out the product that you have just identified. Let's say tablet computers and I'll click on enter. So this now gives us the kind of search volume that is there on a monthly basis. It's the same with SEM Rush, which I explained in my course, after marketing, this does the same. So now you can see there's a search volume of about 49,500 on this. The search volume is high. SEO difficulties as well, pretty decent at about 58. Paid difficulties higher, but nevertheless, SEO difficulty is 58. Now let's check this as far as the Indian market is concerned. So I'll change this country over here to India. Select India and go ahead and click on search. I've got a decent search volume over here as well. 4,400 with 49 paid difficult, I mean SEO difficulty. This is a fair volume for myself. Now, if I just go down, it gives me my keyword ideas. I could select all these keyword ideas in my blog topic as well. Uh, what is tablet computers? What are tablet computers? Tablet computer price, definition, images. Now some content ideas as well. Uh, New York. Uh, see, it just gives you a rough idea. What are the various content ideas? So we know that tablet computers. I'm from in my for myself now. I know that okay. I can go ahead with the keyword ta uh, tablet computers as well. Now a step three is figuring out our blog topic that basically the article whether the article what are the article heading that you need to go ahead with what are the different questions that people ask about this because when i'm creating an article i'd probably like to include all the various questions that the general people are actually asking with regards to or related to my keyword which is tablet computer so for which like i said the best tool is actually answer the public so under answer the public Yes, this guy is still waiting. So we'll go ahead and type out tablet computers and click search. Now, like I said, answer the public curates all the popular questions that are there on the internet and tells you what people are actually searching for. I'll just click on the data over here so that we get this view. And there you go. You have a number of questions that people generally ask for. Are tablet computers worth it? Are tablet computers secure? What are tablet computers? Why are tablet computers so popular? How tablet computers invented? Which tablet computers are the best? What are tablet computers? When were tablets? So you see, you have a number of questions which are actually here. And this gives you a good under indication of the kind of blog. You get ideas of what your blog article topic has to be. Now, all right, so you've got your, you've identified your keyword, you have identified the, rather you've identified first the product, then your keyword, then your blog topic. <clears throat> so you know the article, what exactly you need to write on. Now, the headline is always a very key component when it comes to an article, because it's something which someone reads for, they don't see the content, they don't see the uh, images that you have inside your article. How does someone come to your article? It's basically the catch, the hook, which is there in your heading. So how do you know whether the heading, it may be the best heading that you have in mind, but then it may not work for someone else. So we need to figure out whether the headlines are something which are really catchy for which I 
suggest a tool called co-schedule now co-schedule yes you can try it for free but then you don't have to get into the uh, the tool as such under resources in co-schedule you have something called as a headline analyzer you see this headline analyzer let's go ahead and click on headline analyzer now once you come on to headline analyzer you can go ahead and type out your headline in this area here now let's say since my topic is on tablet computers i will do some, i will type out something like top 10 tablet computers to buy let's and click on analyze now now let's see what the the result shows it gives me a 61 rating it's you should go as high as possible at least above the 70 75 now see this gives you a clear indication your word balance it gives you a breakup as to some of the common words uncommon words your emotional words power power basically your top 10 best buy stuff like that gives you the entire score of your headline so then again it gives you your headline is in the right length or the headline is a bit short try increasing your headline to improve its seo value then what is the first three words that people see and the last three words that people see your sentiment how it is how it appear in google how it actually appears in the email all these are actually shown in this particular tool now i have done a number of iterations before i actually came into this so then i will just show you the heading which includes every all the components which is mentioned below and it gives me a score of about 83 all right so you could still play around and see what is the best it takes a lot of time to actually come up with the best headline and plus it has to be at the end of the day because if you have to go with a hundred score it may not make sense to the end user so you need to have strike an even balance between what makes sense to the end user and what gives you a high score over here as well so now if i was to type out a headline like the top 10 tablet computers in the world you need to know now it says that your common words are all there uncommon words your no need world all are there the emotional factor is there power words is there so it it gives me a rough indication that most of the words are there and it gives me a score of about 83 so i will go ahead and use this this is only your heading this is basically a catch and a hook for your article and but your focus keyword remains the same which is basically your tablet computers so now we have gone ahead understood what the blog topic has to be and how to get the article as well and check it up on course schedule don't worry about the links i will go ahead and include all the links after this particular video and below the video i'll have all the links mentioned and have it sent across to you so the step four now is basically yes writing our epic article now for which like i mentioned it's always a good practice to have some anything between 1500 to about 2000 words and like i said this is how i've gone ahead and included my article i've already written an article on basically top 10 computers in the world this is of course the the heading my article top header my keyword phrase is basically tablet computers which we have checked up in uber suggest as well now related keywords now what are related keywords something in lines with your focus keywords it as the word suggests it's related to that particular keywords because yes you might have a set of people typing out best uh, looking out for best tablet computers someone might also say how like i included this is some of the keywords which you can even take from your answer the public take some of those questions put it across here and try to include these as well in your article all right so now i will go ahead and create this article in my blog and i will show you the next screen as to how it is all included all right so I've come on to my website that's basically the blue bloggers bloom i will have this link as well included just for you to get an idea nevertheless i've not completed in terms of 10 all the 10 tablets i've not actually mentioned the basically due to want of time and i need to do a much more research for, to get the top 10 i've just included two at this point of time so basically most wordpress websites and most blogs they immediately have your top header 
as the h1 includes the h1 tag you need at least one h1 tag if this is all prerequisites for your seo to get your uh, articles all optimized for your seo as well so now like i said this is basically my h1 tag which comes by default from the wordpress backend and then i again include you can see my keyword is mentioned over here in the title which is tablet computers i've again included tablet computers in the subheading as well now it's always a good practice to let the user know what exactly are they going to get from this so i've just mentioned by the end of this particular article i'm just repeating the article you can this is a format which i'm using for all my articles in my particular blog so i've just mentioned that by the end of this particular article you'll be able to narrow down the perfect tablet computers for you then again i start off by checking with the customer as to i mean basically the hook basically driving their interest the attention are you confused about the perfect tablet computer to suit your requirements then now there are always a section of the crowd who would like to immediately go down to the top 10 some others like to first read and then go step by step and then proceed to the final of the top 10 so you will have to cater to both these audience for which it's always a very good practice to write up front mention which are the top 10 tablet computers for instance in my article the tablet computer that we are mentioning in this article if you have another niche or another product let's say you are talking about the top 10 books to read for self help or the best um, weight loss programs and what are the diets and all that so just ensure that you have all those listed up front because like i said there are uh, i mean i also did i still do i still do fall under the category where the moment i come into an article if i don't see that i am being given my uh, the actual purpose behind coming to an article i might go off and that increases your bounce rate so we need to factor in both these kind of audiences when we write our article let's say i come in over here i just click on this and have a link down to your product immediately so these are some few things which you have to keep in mind when you are writing your article so let's go back i mentioned my article over here these are basically internal links to that particular hashtag which i have actually given to the particular product so i've started off by giving general gyan and then faqs please try to include faqs in all your articles i will be creating a course on seo very soon but in that i will let let you know how you can actually use faq schemas to help you get on to google within even one day that's right within one day is becoming more and more popular but then you have to use faq schemas as well so please include faqs in most of your articles where do you get these questions from like i said go into your answer the public you get common questions asked over here include those in your article and have them answered as well now i have taken listed about five questions and again when you are having your faqs also don't just say faqs try and mention about five frequently it's all catchy he headlines that you can actually use which drives in the interest it 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 is this research and proof that shows that you have numerals at the beginning of your um article the topic and there's more interest and more click throughs for those kind of articles as well so do include those in your blog also so include the faq section so here i just included about five percent use some images i mean this lady is very common across the internet so you could probably use her picture as well over here about how being still confused about it and then i've included again pros and cons of the tablet computers now slowly you'll get to see i very certainly included the link so here now i'm talking about only about tablets in this but nevertheless it's, there's a comparison meant for both laptops and your tablets hence i mentioned here if you are considering laptops here is a list of best sellers in the laptop space and where do you think this goes to yes it goes to my amazon link and always included as a new window because you want your customers to still be there on your page i've just taken the amazon best sellers the laptop the best sellers and i hope you do remember how to get this link i mean if you come to amazon best sellers you have the link over here click on get 
text link, copy the either the short link or the full link and include that in your article. And if in, let's say you don't want to take a particular um, the top level category, that means you want to go inside, let's say one of these laptops, you click on those. And then again, you can either take the either the text link or the image link or both as well. So that is how you go ahead and get your links. These are mentioned here, your image or your text plus image. So one of those you can go ahead with and copy this link and put it into your article. So again, back to the article I've mentioned for the laptops. And then of course, I've started talking about the tablets over here. Now, I've given a link for the heading over here, which basically goes to the same product. Let's say I click on this, it goes to the product specific page. Here it is, it goes to product specific page. And I've, in, I've included that not only in my, uh, the article over here, the heading, the image over here as well. I've listed out some features and then I've mentioned over here, click here for more features, reviews and purchase options on Lenovo Tab M10. The same goes for the Apple as well. The Apple iPad, I mentioned it use the same format. Basically click a click through for the image, the headline and a small, text link over here as well. I just included two at this point of time. You could, I, I mean, you could come back to this article or maybe in a day or two, I'll probably have this entire thing updated. But nevertheless, this gives you a clear indication as to from right from identifying the product up till creating your blog article. Now, another key important element is your SEO. So now I will just go into my backend because basically I use Elementor as my page builder i will just go into that to show you how the page is being optimized as well now if you have noticed i did mention about my uh, the seo uh, plugin that i actually use and that is called rank math now you will see this option called seo in the rank math i mean in your elementor widgets and you need to get as high a score as possible. Right now, I've got about a 95 out of 100. Now, how do you get a score like this? It gives you all the indication, all the metrics that you must follow in order to get your article optimized and bring your score as much to the 100 as possible. Now, let's say the basic SEO factors are all mentioned here. Your focus keyword is in the SEO title, SEO meta description, it's there in the URL, your focus keywords appear in the first 10% of the content. See, like I mentioned, try and include it right in the beginning because these are all metrics that you need to follow to get your article optimized. Your focus keyword is there in the content as well. The content length is 1400, which is good. Now, I haven't completed this if you did realize. I've only mentioned two topics, so two products here. So my article will easily go into about 2000, 2500 words. So I will work on that and get it even higher in terms of the words. Now that then rest is your focus keyword is there in the subheading. It's there in the alt tag. I hope you know how to get the keyword in your alt tag as well for your images. Your keyword density is 2.28 for uh, this many number of times of appearance. The URL is great. So you can know that all my metrics are being checked. I this is a while this is not the only way you can get your article up on the google ranking but nevertheless this is a very good indicator that your article is optimized enough yes you need to work on backlinks uh, you like i said your schemas all these are other factors which you need to factor in to get your article listed on google now another very important thing is which i uh, almost forgot is about your content plagiarism. Now I will just show you a website how you can check on that as well. All right, so this is a tool which I use again, which is called small SEO tools. Now you need to check if your content is genuine or not, because if you've just copied your content from somewhere else, I'm sorry, your content will just not show up on your Google search results. You have to be as genuine as possible when you're typing out your article. Now. I'll just go ahead and check my article. Now, as you know, I've uh, written this article, let's say till my features. Now, why I'm not taking the features? Yes, because features is definitely something which I've just lifted from the uh, respective websites of Lenovo and Apple. So now I need to do a little bit of change to that as well. But yes, 
you may not get a hundred percent when it comes when you include your features as well your the the content genuinity let's say i copied this and i'll paste it over here and go ahead and click on it says total words at this point of time without the features is about 945 so once i've copied and pasted here let's go and click check plagiarism it'll give you a score of how genuine and how authentic your article is you need like i said you need to have really genuine article which you have not lifted from somewhere else so that allows you to show up in your search results as well there it is it's just checking through the entire article if you have anything about 80 percent it's great now like i said this is giving me a hundred percent unique article because i've written the entire article from scratch till that particular point where the features start now if i include the features as well it's going to show me that i've actually taken this from somewhere else also let's in any case do that over here right now now i'll copy this and go back to my seo tools and select this delete it and paste my new content over here and again go ahead and click on check plagiarism so like i said if you can get anything about 75 80 percent it should be good because the i mean words are almost the same you cannot really the features are the same for the product so there's nothing much you can actually do about it but the word limit exceeds thousand only thousand okay so we'll need to again reduce this and uh, let's say i reduce some of these art topics over here how much does it come up to still about thousand one thirty four 164 and let's just move this whole thing off okay so now let's go ahead and check on click check plagiarism it's doing check at this point of time unique Okay, 360, 70 should be fine. You can see the plagiarism 16% is coming up to now. So it's giving me again 84%. So I've expected this because I've actually copied the features from another website and posted it into my article. So it's a very good practice to ensure that you have as genuine articles as possible, something which you have written, which makes all the difference. All right. So this is again my back end wherein i have you can see i've just included let's say here the all text for this particular image let's again just check on this image edit see i've given the all text as tablet computer that's my focus keyword so i have it mentioned in my images as well now as far as the content is concerned here is my content i you can see i've included the amazon link as well and let's just click on edit i've given open a new tab and a no follow link you can you you don't want to actually give a follow link for this all actually is your backlinks and for your das which i will cover in my seo course but nevertheless you can have this checked or unchecked as well that really doesn't matter it matters but at this point of time we'll just keep this add a no follow link so this is as far as the article is concerned so you've gone ahead and you've posted this on your website let's go and see this article will reflect on my website at this point of time and if i go on to the home page it already shows up in under my blog article there you go it is there in the blog articles now what is the next step we've got we've completed all these steps starting with step number one which is identifying the right product identifying the keyword which is step two step three is the blog article title which we went and identified step four we have written the article as well step five we have checked for the content plagiarism as well now what do we, we have uploaded the post also now step six is basically promoting your article 